Okay, we're going to make a cord today. Now I've got three strands of satin rat tail cording, like what is used for beading. You can use any kind of sturdy cording that you like. Uh, yarn is probably not quite sturdy enough or thread, but parachute cord, nylon cord, leather cord, any cord that's, that's fairly sturdy is fine. Okay, so I've measured off five yards of each of these. That's much more than what we'll need, but I like to have extra just in case. I don't like to come up short. So I take about 12 inches, maybe a little bit more. And then I take a nice clamp, nice and sturdy, and I clamp this at the end of a table. And then I'm just going to start braiding backwards on this, this one foot strand here, maybe a little bit longer. And it's a good idea to use a chant, the, uh, one that I was taught is made to measure, wrought to bind, blessed be thou cord entwined. And you can chant that out loud or mentally, just try to keep focused as you're braiding your cord. Keeping some nice tension, but not too much so that you don't have too much slack in your braid. You want a tightly woven braid, but you don't want it to be so tight that it, it gets distorted. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a loop with this braided part. And I'll clamp this loop here Okay, so now what I want to do is line these strands up. So I want one long with one short. I'm going to hold on to each of these and start braiding them together like this. Weaving these short ends right back into the braid. The total length of this cord after all of the knots are tied into it, after it's woven, is going to be nine feet. You can buy this satin rat tail cording at any craft store. Any place that does uh, jewelry making usually has it as well. I like it because it's sturdy, it's thin, and it's, and it's got a nice sheen to it, so it's real pretty.
we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna cut off the extra. What I want is this, I've measured this cord so that this knot now is at just a little beyond nine feet because I want to tie some harmonics in here and that'll shorten the total length. Okay, so the first harmonic is half. So I put the male end right at the tip of the female end. At this halfway point that is created, I tie a knot. And then from that knot to the tip of the female end, I put those together. And then I tie a knot at that halfway point. So I put this knot to the end of the female end here. And right at that halfway point, that's a harmonic. So I'm going to tie a knot there. Okay, you tie those knots loosely because then you can go back and remeasure just to make sure. So this whole cord, we should measure exactly nine feet from the tip, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to the knot, which is right. And then from the knot, to the tip of the loop, we should be able to see the, the harmonic should be right at the halfway point, which it is. And then we take that harmonic to the tip of the loop and that should show us another harmonic, oops, which is perfect. And then we take this knot to the end of the loop and that should show us another harmonic, which it does. So we're perfect. So that's how you do it. Nine foot cord, with three harmonics in it. I'll do another video at a later date that goes into more specifics about how to use the cord. But for those of you that are working on getting your tools together, I wanted a nice video to show you how to braid your cord and that's how you do it. Thank you very much. Blessed be.